What's going on, everybody? It's Randy with Jeep 4 Outdoors. Oh, I'm in the hospital this evening. This morning. This morning. Um, they've already pushed two uh, deals of morphine in me. I'm really not even that messed up. My stomach is in so much pain. They said it, possibly kidney stones, and they say a lot of guys say it feels like giving birth. <laughs> give birth three times in one day if I wanted to. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. All right, I might be a little bit messed up. But man, I tell you what, these kidney stones are no joke. I laid on the floor at home for probably an hour. My wife finally had, to, finally had to stick a boot up my butt and send me off to the hospital. I sure didn't want to go. I tell you what, oh, if it ever happens to you, it just feels like you're constipated and got a serious UTI. So I don't want to do it, but I can't live... I can't live with this pain, so I really don't want that endoscope, that borescope going up my wee-wee, but I think I'm going to have to man up and do it. Anyways, guys, I'm doing just fine. I'll give you an update here in about an hour, but I don't know. I guess I've been here for four hours, so I don't even know what an hour is right You've now. You've been in there an hour. There you go. I'll keep in touch. I'm good. What's going on guys? It's Randy coming back with you from G4 Outdoors. That guy was messed up. That's why you don't do kids drugs. That's why you don't do drugs, kids. Anyways, I got a story coming for you. Uh, it's about a kidney stone. Uh, it's a real story, so stick around. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you never have one, but hey, enjoy the video. So anyway, I'm starting to get this horrible pain in my stomach. And it didn't come on easy or anything like that. It just hit me mm, all at once. It felt like I had the worst case of gas that I've ever had in my life. So I'm laying around on the bedroom floor all like, oh, 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 oh. And it's just an uncontrollable feeling. It's a, it's a constant, just constant pain in my lower left gut. And, uh, you know, I couldn't do anything about it. I just had to lay there. And, uh, tell you what, it's some pain that I don't ever want to feel again in my life. And I'm laying there for about a half hour and finally my wife comes up and she's like, No, that is not gas. You are going to the hospital right now. That is not gas. And so then I'm like, I am not going to the hospital for gas. And again, she says, No, that is not gas. You are going to the hospital right now. That is not gas. And by the time she convinces me to go, I've, I've had enough, you know, half hour and 45 minutes, laying there on the ground, just moaning and moaning, because it's, it was incapacitating. I couldn't do anything about it. And it was just like extreme gas, the lower left of my stomach. So we get in the car and I'm telling you what, it, that's a ride in itself if anybody's ever rode with my wife. She cannot drive for nothing, no. She can't drive at all. So we're flying down to a hospital. I don't even know where it's at. I'm in too much pain to even really care where it's at. I just wanna get the pain gone. So we're flying down the highway. There's a gigantic sign along the side of the highway that says, hospital exit here we go right by it and i'm like what the hell are you doing and she's like what and i'm like you just missed the hospital exit well, i didn't see no exit and i'm like it was only you know 100 foot wide right there so anyway we come back around go to the hospital bill and i'm leaning up against the wall the lady's trying to take my information while my wife's out trying to park the car i'm double up against the wall trying to tell this lady what my name is and i can't even say it because my stomach hurts so bad telling you what it's some pain down yeah, so I'm, I'm like my name is Randy and my wife has my wallet so I can't get my wallet out just to hand it to her so she can take it all the information I'm having to tell her all this stuff so finally we're at a point where she realizes I'm not joking around I'm really in pain she gets the wheelchair she drags me around over to the emergency room you know they ask me if I'm allergic to anything I'm like no 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 I'm all good so they give me a shot of morphine 
that gave me about 30 seconds to where my shoulders were actually able to relax because I was clenched over in a lot of pain. So I was able to actually relax my shoulders. I was able to, you know, just relax finally. About 30 seconds later, boom, it came right back in. And uh, you know, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a bad thing. So I'm laying there in agony and you know, all these nurses are doing work on me. And I'm, I'm all right with it. But I'm in too much pain to really care what they're doing. This this other nurse walks in and she's like, we're gonna have to do a sonogram on you. And I'm like, great, so they're gonna do a sonogram on my stomach and they're gonna see what's causing all this pain. That's not what happened. She said, I'm gonna need you to check your underwear up. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm in too much pain to really think about it, but I got my wife sitting right next to me. I got a pretty nurse sitting down on my balls. So I'm, I'm looking at my wife. My wife's looking at the nurse. I look at the nurse. My nurse is looking at the wife. I look at the wife. My wife's looking at me. I look back at the nurse, and she's looking at me. And I'm like, ah, God, well, you know, what do I do? What do I do here? I got this pretty one. I'm just getting right in front of my balls. And my wife's sitting right here giving me the eyeball, giving the nurse the eyeball. The nurse is giving my wife the eyeball, giving me the eyeball. I don't know what kind of eyeball she's giving me. It's like one of them eyeballs, you know? Yeah, it was nothing. I was in too much pain. And uh, anyway, so she got out the warm lotion, and she commenced to doing a sonogram on my right testicle and the whole time you know they were asking me do your balls hurt no my balls don't hurt it's my stomach does your back hurt no my back don't hurt but it does only because I'm using my muscles to to clench over because I'm so much pain so she sonograms my right ball and of course there's no pain in there so I just feel some uh, warm lube going on there and once I feel the warm loop go on there and she starts rubbing around, I'm like looking at my wife, my wife's looking at me. She's looking at the nurse, the nurse is looking at my wife. My wife I'm looking at my wife and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all like worried, like, hey, hey, don't let this get out of control. You know, keep keep it down, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, keep it down now. And the nurse is staring at the screen, so, you know, a little bit awkward. And then she moves over to my left testicle and that's when I freaking come unglued. I had no idea that my balls even hurt. But as soon as she touched my left testicle, I came unfreaking glued. I started screaming, what are you doing to my balls? It was so much pain. And she didn't even do anything. All she did was put some uh, warm jelly on there. So here I am rolling around in agony while I got this good looking nurse fondling my balls with my wife staring at both of us. I don't know what the hell to do because I'm in too much pain. So she finally says, well, there's nothing wrong there. So they took me in for an MRI and finds out I had a kidney stone. Well, I've had this pain the last, I don't know, a couple times before. So I'm assuming I passed a small one, I passed a medium. This big one is kind of stuck in a tube. So I don't have a diagram to show you, but I don't know. It runs through, it, it's, it's a stone. It was a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch. And it starts from one organ it runs through your ureter and into your kidney maybe from your kidney to your bladder i'm not really sure i just know that it freaking hurt and some people say that it's the equivalent of giving birth to a baby well i disagree because it was a constant pain for three hours unbearable i'm not saying the childbirth isn't unbearable i'm just saying that this was a constant pain. When you're giving birth, you have contractions, you know, you have a little bit of time out. And for anybody out there to saying I had gallstones before and it didn't hurt, well, shove it right up your, it's not the same thing. So they send me in for the MRI, I come back out and I'm like, can I please have some more drugs? Because I'm just, you know, you can only take pain that much for so long, so they shoot me up again. That's about when uh, you see the intro to this video. I am out of it. I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling any pain. That's all I could come up with when I wanted to record that. And that was done on my phone and you could tell I didn't know what the hell was going on, but the wife tried to help me out as much as I could with that. So they let me go. They sent me home with some medicine. They, they give me some medicine to supposedly break the stone up. They give me some medicine for pain. And I don't know, they give me some medicine for nighttime, probably to help me not pee so that it fills my bladder up so that I have a really good flush in the morning because I was peeing out like a whole jug of urine. 
So for the next week, I'm peeing in a jug, emptying out through a filter, and I travel. So it's not the easiest thing to do to carry around a pee jug with you when all you have is a lunch box and a backpack and your backpack's full of all your work stuff and I'm not gonna put a urine bottle inside my bag, my lunch bag at that. So uh, yeah, I'm carrying around a pee bottle and I uh, gotta filter it out through a filter and when I get to the hotel, I don't carry my filters around with me because they were paper filters. So I had to filter it or I had to dump it out in the toilet, take a flashlight, make sure nothing came out because I didn't know if I would know if I felt it come out or not. So for the whole following week, I just constantly felt like I had a, I had a UTI, urinary tract infection. You know, it was just uncomfortable. It kind of, kind of burns when you go pee, and uh, that's all it is. It just feels like a urinary tract infection. So here I am, constantly looking for this little pebble that's supposed to work its way out. I don't know if I said it before. It's just a hair under a quarter of an inch is what they told me. That, that's a pretty big pee to pee out. So I'm. I'm wanting to save this thing. You know, I'm, I'm wanting to treat it like a little kid. I, like I gave freaking birth to it. You know, I'm gonna drill a hole in it, put it around like a necklace, put it on a ring or something. I worked too hard not to find this thing. So when I'm ready to go to the bathroom, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the worst. I'm thinking like this thing's gonna come out and just... Oh! That's a pretty big peb pebble to come out. But no, it was nothing like that at all. Actually, I was just standing outside the first time in a week that I don't have my pee jug on me and I have nowhere to escape to to go to the bathroom. So what do I do? Well, if I was smart, I would have peed on a flat surface. But nobody really ever claimed me of being smart, so maybe I would have peed in the grass. Even a small pile of rubble wouldn't have been bad. I could have found it in there. So I've really got to go to the bathroom. I'm standing around doing the pee pee dance thinking I'm about ready to go to the bathroom in my pants. I couldn't make my way back up on to where my bathroom was, which was up on an engine. No, no. I get the sudden urge to go to the bathroom and some of the nastiest rocks that you've ever seen. I mean, a gravel driveway doesn't even compare to it. It's ballast. It's railroad ballast. It's one three inch rock that's three feet deep. Yes, I urinate into the ballast. So, I lose my stone. This stone that I've been working on for over a week, I freaking lost it, so I'm out of my mind. I'm about ready to cry. I'm down on my hands and knees, just about digging through my own urine, trying to find this kidney stone, but I can't find it, so it's lost in the rocks. You move one rock, it falls down five feet. So, I just wasted a whole week, all that pain, and now I can't find my rock. I'm <laughs> I lost my bet rock. So anyway, to make a long story short, if you feel pain in your lower left abdomen, if your balls are hurting, if your back's hurting, all at the same time, don't be afraid to go to the hospital because <laughs> it gets worse. It gets way worse. So anyway, thanks everybody sticking around Jeep Far Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed my story. Stick around for some more. Leave a comment down below if this has happened to you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in that next one. I'm out. Is that your IV? My, wait, why are you, do you not like getting this stuff done or what? No, he's a YouTube person. Oh my. Gave you a little waxing job. Okay. Um, so.